friends and followers. Um, I was meant to do, I was meant to go into town today, and later on, at six o'clock, I I'm meant to be at the gym today, but uh, I can't do that, as as it looks like this in it in Stafford. Uh, so instead of um, wasting my time uh, watching movies, um, I have decided to give you a bit of a reaction video to the first week of testing and yes, a, a couple of other bits. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get straight into this. Just been following, um, watching other other people's and uh, as well as uh, the snippets that are available on YouTube uh, to to keep up to date which with testing, as I don't have Sky Sports or anything. So, but uh, I'll, I'll give you my opinions about it anyway. All right. Um, the although the Honda, uh, oh sorry, although the the Renault uh, and McLaren partnership seems to be gotten off to a very good, reliable start. Fernando Alonso actually ended ended up in the gravel. Um, you know, uh, due to a faulty wheel nut, um, but um, the surprise of the of the um, first test is it, it was is is that Toro Rosso and Honda uh, seemed uh, managed to get about. I think it was a hundred laps or something on the first um, day without any, any issue so uh, and actually setting setting reasonable lap time so I'm thinking whether um, whether um, McLaren divorced on the too early but uh, you know what, what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below. Two saw Robert Kubica return to official testing action for um, for uh, Williams Martini um, racing, um, and he set he was um, he set this. Seventh fastest time, uh, and the irony of it was that he was, I think, um, he was two point, he was zero point two five seconds or something faster than Sorokin, who actually got the race drive instead of him. So I thought that was quite interesting. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Day three of testing didn't didn't really happen because of snow. You know, uh, uh, I think it was um, it is storm Emma. I think it's called the the metro metro meteorologists are calling it. I think. Uh, the storm was is called the snowstorm was called um, storm Emma, but uh, you know I'm not too sure. But anyway, there was hardly any running uh, on day three of testing. Um, yeah, 
uh, Fernando Alonso was the only one that um, actually set a time, but uh, you know it wasn't very competitive. Um, but as I said, the the rest of the day three was n nothing. Day four of, on day four of testing, which is the final day, which happened yesterday. Um, of the first week, you know, there's uh, Lewis Hamilton comes in and sets the fastest time after hardly being in the car before, and so I think he was something like half a second faster than you know than second place. So I think that's remarkable. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now, um. My opinion has quite changed about the halo uh, during testing. I actually quite like it like, aesthetically as well um, because it reminds me of, I mean, the, 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 um, the pole in the middle of it reminds me of... of uh, a bit like a co cockpit, uh, the same as in a, in an air airplane cockpit. So I think uh, having seen some on boards and you know having seen the cars outside from the from the outside on the TV, I I I I, I no I don't understand now what all the fuss is about because. The drivers are still visible, um, you know, the drivers are still visible and I actually think, um, for me at least, um, I don't look at the halo and I don't take notice of the halo and I think um, with, with time we're we, we just going to accept the halo. Um, as part of the car, and yeah, that's it, um, yes, so, you know, just to illustrate to you, like, um, what I mean, uh, in terms of the aeroplane, that is, the, you know, um, you know, it, it's it's quite similar, and it it doesn't it doesn't um, hinder the view in any way. So I don't really un uh, understand what all the fuss is about. Actually, let me know what you think in the comment section below. The the final uh, thing I would like to um, mention is the fact um, whether whether. Williams have made a mistake in not putting, uh, not um, putting, uh, not giving the race drive to Robert Kubica um, for 2018 um, because he was faster than uh, than than um, than than. Uh, uh, Sirotkin. Um I don't think it it was a mistake. Uh, I think it is it is a good thing that he he is a the test and reserve driver. However, I do believe that he he is gonna um, get get. He's going to do at least one race this season. Um, and I do believe the reason why Williams have have put him in, in as a reserve and test driver is um, to evaluate him as a race driver for 2000 and... and for 2019 so that is what I think 
So I reckon he's gonna be back in in a, as a race driver in 2019. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna do uh, a round up again next uh, for next week's testing, but uh, I'll, I'll see. I'll see how I feel, but if if, if not, I'm definitely going to be, the, the, the latest I'll be back is um, for the Australian Grand Prix. Uh, I, I won't do qualifying um, summaries anymore, but I will do race um I will summarize the races and uh, maybe occasionally do the, the qualifying, but only if something uh, something uh, unusual happens. All right, but I will do the races. Thanks for all your support, guys. It really means a lot to me. And yeah, uh, if you like what you see. Then, then support. There's many different ways in which you can support this channel. Uh, if you, uh, you can find these ways in the in in the um credit in the end credits. Um, you know, or in the, or in the video descriptions. All the links are in the video descriptions. So thank you for watching guys, bye!